Go explore. Or whoever's watching. Just go explore. You'll never know what you'll find. Load it up, let's go. It's super duper windy. Things honestly aren't going as planned, but I'm gonna shoot Clayton's pistol real quick. It's pretty loud too. Yeah, I know my ears are gonna ring. It, it's actually not that bad. All right, ready? Yeah. Oh, check it out, dude. Oh, there it's it is. It's in there. Film that. Yeah, you can see the lead. Uh, that's pretty cool. Dude, like, I could barely hear anything right after I shot it. <laughs> yeah, but it's not as loud as some other things. Yeah. Oh, there's still one in there. No, that's the Oh, one. wait, no. Never mind. It's a spent is round. Is it Ford? Yeah. Oh, yep. That's the spent round. Just like the toy. I'm just casting, I think. First cast, we got a little baby drum right here. Super cool. Sick. All right, so I saw this full, you know, bait box full of stuff. I'm gonna go get it. So, yeah, you never know what you're gonna find at the end of these coves. Cause just anything, any, anything, debris that you can imagine will float in here. Perfect example. Oh, wow. Let's see if these worms are full. Oh, they're like a day old. Close one though. Um, and then you got this full box of bait. This is not fake. This has obviously been here. I guess it just barely floated in. Look out all these just crappie fillets. Just everywhere, that's crazy. Alright, we moved spots and we got minnows. So, we're just gonna head over, see if we can catch some crappie or some bass. Anything that'll bite on a minnow, we'll take and we'll go home and fry it up. Clayton got, Clayton, we, we got one. Sweet, let's go. It's crappie. Put them on ice. Dude, that literally took two minutes. Right. Sweet, finally got one. And he choked it, so he was gonna die anyways. Oh. Easy, easy. Sweet. 
beautiful day. Beautiful evening on the lake. Really what happened today is we had a lot of engine trouble and we figured that out. Um, it wasn't too big of an issue, but anyways, basically we just started like really fishing, fishing without zero problems and nothing to worry about. And we, you know, we just got minnows and now it's getting dark and it's about fish. It's dark, Gabby's locked out of the car, so. Yeah. We might be, we might be done. But I mean, fish really don't tend to bite too much after dark besides like catfish. But I don't know if that's just because they can't see one. the bait or if they just don't bite. But yeah, it, it kind of sucks, guys. Look, we did get one. He's not going to waste. We'll take him home and pick him up for you. But, um. Right now, yeah, we're just not getting anything, and it really sucks, but it is what it is. All right, day two, we're heading back out to the lake, and we're going to try to catch some crappie again. So we're not giving up. We're going back out there, and we will come back successful. So we'll see you out there. Peace. Cheers! All right, so we've made it to the lake, and Gabby actually picked up a new kayak. It's a pelican, but yeah, looks pretty nice. So, see you guys on the water. See you on the water. Hi right, guys. So here's the plan. I got the chest diaper on, and uh, <laughs> yeah, we're all just chilling. Clayton's gonna rig up his big rod with some like. Here we go, right here. Dude, tell them about the wave. I got a pork chop, pork with chop? A treble hook, treble hook, right there. Big rod, big like deep sea fishing rod, old rod. The 90s. Yeah, it, these are 90s. 80s. I got for free from my. We're gonna set it up here somewhere, do our fishing while it sits. Hopefully, we can reel in a 30 pound catfish. I got 50 pound line on it, so. Aaron, tell them about the waves, dude. The oh, yes. Waves? waves? Okay, they, I don't think they were like that coming across, but they were pretty big. Now it's picking up, Clayton. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to go back out there. All right, so I'm just gonna take this minnow and hook it right under the dorsal fin just like that we got a bobber about a foot and a half down we have the minnow and we're just gonna cast it out right in between these trees and just let him swim around and do his thing Oh, he just came up. No, no, it's still going. Hey. hey Whee! Let's go, dude. Let's go. First crappie of the day, guys. This is awesome. Sweet. Hook set right in the top of the mouth. That's, a, that's just about even size, too. It's just what you want. Rainbow. She almost looks pregnant. Look at that. Big belly. I'll throw her back. Pretty, pretty, pretty little crappie. All right, so we stopped here at this marina to just check it out. I'm just gonna fish real quick, see what's up. There's one. Clayton got one. I can't remember what bait this was. Definitely got him though. Oh, is he fighting? Yeah, he's fighting. Whoa! Oh, that's Black cool. crappie! Oh, that's good it's too. pretty, dude. Sick, dude. Yes, yeah, so Sweet. That's great oh, shoot! They are freaking. Mine is shooting under. Oh, that's a fish. Let's go. Oh, he's tangled it all up. Crappie. Oh, that's a great crappie, dude. She let's go. Ooh. That sat out there for yes. 10 seconds. Yes. Hey Clayton, you're getting hit on that one. Hook set again. Right in the top of the mouth. That's that's what you want. That is perfect. Jeez. You got one? Yeah. Oh, he's on. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, it's another black crappie, that's dude. Good. That's a good one. Let's keep that He's one. little. He's fat. Look at him. Sheesh. Make a little fish fry out of him. That's We're sick, fine. dude. I'm keeping that guy. I'll keep him. Yeah, man. Oh, down there, bro. Is it big? Yes, sir. Might not be big, but he's a fighter. Dude, that's a good size. Yeah? I think it's a blue Show bill. the camera. Yeah, blue bill. There it is. Whew. I'm getting hit right now. He's taking it. Ooh! Ooh, he's, he's running with it. It's funny how right when I start the camera, they leave it alone. Then again, I did put a smaller minnow on it, so they probably just took him right off. Let's check it. Oh, it's still on. Guys, uh, uh, Abby was right here. Gabby saw it. A raccoon literally ran out from under these rocks <laughs> and ran right up there, right in front of our faces. Yeah, that is crazy. Oh, I wish I'd have got that on camera. He ran right up there. That was crazy. <laughs> what are the, oh, oh, we have one on. What? Oh my goodness. We've had a fish on the line this whole time. It's a little green sunfish. He kind of choked it. Oh, he ate the minnow, wow. He had time to. <laughs> yeah, he had time to choke it down. All right, well, anyways, here's the green sunfish. Real little guy, he choked it. I don't know if he's gonna make it. All right, so I'm trying to let this guy go, but I don't know, He he's kind of kicking. He's just, it went pretty far down to where like the blood was coming out of his gills. So I don't know if we should keep him or if he's gonna make it. I mean, he's able to balance, which is a good sign. So yeah, actually, I think he'll be good. Yep, there he, um, as long as he's able to stay up, he's like right in here. Yeah, he's gone. All right, he should be good. Oh, could you actually hand me him? It's a green sunfish that we caught. He's not doing good. So I'll just take him home for catfish bait or we can cook him up. Oh, perfect. That was, that was too smooth. All right, so here he is. Sucks, but he'll make some good catfish bait or a meal. Guys, the raccoon is back. Look, look at that. That is crazy. Guys, I'm right here. He's right there. Let's see if we can feed him. He's coming right up to me. Let's see if we can feed him. No way. No way, guys. Hey, buddy. Here. Guys, no way. Here. Here. Oh, wow. How did he fit him up there? He went right up under there. Let's see if he'll eat these. He, he literally came back out. Look at that. He's probably super hungry too because he's on this island and there's not a lot of source of animals. So actually, let's see if he'll take that pork chop. Oh my gosh, he's gonna love this. Check this out. Oh my gosh, guys. He's going to munch this down. Yeah. Oh, he won't be able to resist this, guys. He's coming out, no matter how close I am. He sees me. Come on. Ah, he thought about it. Dang. Oh, what I'm going to do? I'm just going to leave my camera right here. We're just gonna leave the camera like that and he'll be out in like one second. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm gonna stick the camera up under there. Hold on. All right, guys. Well, anyways, I fed that raccoon. That was super cool. Uh, we let we did let a couple crappie go, but 
this is what we got at the end of the day pretty good nothing too crazy but um so i'm gonna head back and this guy actually gave clayton two or three massive crappie he says so we're gonna go see but yeah i gotta get from here to there over the boat ramp so all right guys we'll see you there all right so these are the three crappie that those guys gave us who knows why but dang i'm yeah i've never held a crappie this big he told me dude it's crazy. He told me what bait to use. Really? Yeah, dude, I'll have to show you. Dude, that is crazy. Yeah, show me all of his gear and show me how to catch it. That's sick. All right, y'all. Getting to get started on our little crappie. Now, this knife may be a little dull, so it may be kind of difficult to play these, but here we go. So, I'm going to make a diagonal slit in. We're going to get as much of that head meat as we can. So, we're going to round that right there so we get all that. Look, look, show the camera on me, dude. Guys, this is, look, this is my first fish cleaning in a year. Look, I'm sorry. Look, look, this will be in our bloopers or something. This is, how all right, guys, come here. I'll show you how it's really done. So we're gonna... So we're gonna cut. Get as much head meat as we can around under the fin, just like that. Look at that line right there. Perfect cut. We're gonna go down the back, down the spinal cord, all the way through. At the end, poke the knife through, fall through down the tail. All right. Then we're just gonna make continuing easy cuts. Can you hear that? When you hear that, you're on the rib cage. So we keep going down along the rib cage. Make sure to go on the outside. So we're gonna go on the outside of that rib cage. And we're gonna cut all the way to the belly. Then clean that. Keep going down and then you just finish it out. All right, then you take your knife. And we're gonna separate that skin from the meat. And we're gonna go all the way down, just like that. Meat, skin, throw the skin out, and you got the meat separated from the skin. Bam. What's that white stuff? The white stuff is some fat. The white stuff is some, you know. There we go, guys. All right, here's one more. Big, choppy. So we're gonna go down. We're gonna go down the back one, just like this. Then we go through. Go all the way down the tail. as much meat as you possibly can. Guys, I'll see you back in the kitchen at my house, so. All right, guys. So, my mom either made dinner and it's all put away, or she didn't. But I still have to cook this fish, so it's a perfect night for that. Um, to finish the video, just so I can get the video to you guys tonight. It's just this one crappie, but we're gonna make it super duper tasty for you guys. So let's get to the kitchen.
All right, we could have had a little bit of a bigger pan, but let's put the fish in. Oh, mama. Oh, Ooh, she's cooking nicely, guys. Let's get some lemon juice. Too bad we don't have lemons, but mine. Oh, well. So, guys, when you're cooking your fish, I want to see you take that spatula. I don't care if it's a filet or anything. If it's in a pan, I want to see you take that spatula. Go down. Just kind of press it. Press it just like that. It just, it just makes it sizzle, man. It just makes it cook. It just makes it go. It just makes the snowball roll down the hill. You gotta do it. So, I just got back from a two hour basketball practice. And this is my dinner. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.